Welcome back to Cityscape. In this episode of Secret People, we will cover Marvin Minsky, a mathematician and computer scientist known as the godfather of AI. Artificial intelligence has become ubiquitous in our everyday life. It is in video games, face recognition to unlock our iPhone, GPS technology that calculates the fastest route to get to your destination, etc. Again, AI is all around us. Despite its popularity and ever-growing ubiquitousness, few people stop and ask about the pioneers of this new line of industry. Like all great things we see today, machine learning has humble beginnings. It started with a few curious men questioning whether these massive devices called computers can do more than crunch numbers. Can a machine think like a human, or are there limitations to the level of abstraction a computer can reach? One of the men who asked such question was Marvin Minsky, the subject of this episode. As always, let's start with a brief background. Marvin Lee Minsky was born on August 9, 1927 in New York City. He grew up in a Jewish household where science was actively encouraged. His father Henry was an eye surgeon and his mother Fanny was a Zionist activist. As a teenager, he attended the Bronx High School of Science and then went to Harvard to obtain a bachelor's degree in mathematics. After Harvard, he went to Princeton to get his PhD also in mathematics. During his time at Princeton University, Minsky built the first randomly wired neural network learning machine, which he called SNARK. The device stimulated a complex web of nerves in a human brain to learn from its own mistakes. An incredible breakthrough for his time, which Minsky achieved while just a graduate student. During the 1950s, the great excitement among scientists was particle physics, most likely due to the recent breakthroughs in nuclear power. However, Minsky undertook the challenge of using mathematics to model the functions of the human brain. Computers were still new at the time, and most people saw them as nothing more than giant adding machines. Minsky was amongst the first to see that a computer can learn, reason, offer suggestions, and perform a large number of tasks that people formerly thought was the sole jurisdiction of humans. After obtaining his PhD from Princeton and completing a research fellow at Harvard, Minsky was appointed on a faculty of MIT in 1958. In his first year there, he founded the AI Lab which quickly became a leading center for artificial intelligence research. The lab not only created several breakthroughs in the field of AI, but also popularized the idea of digitally sharing information, giving rise to the open source movement we are familiar with on platforms like GitHub. The lab also conducted much of the initial work on the ARPANET, which would later become the internet we know today. It's safe to say that the AI lab founded by Minsky played an immense role in not just artificial intelligence, but computer science in general. Anyway, Minsky would go on to make immense personal contributions to computer science. His inventions include the first head-mounted graphical display, the confocal scanning microscope, a hydraulic robotic arm, the concept of binary tree robotic manipulation, and much more. Minsky is not just a prolific inventor, however. He has written plenty of books and published many articles in the field of computer science. One of the most controversial pieces by Minsky is his book called Perceptrons. In this work, he actually argues against neural networks, a method pioneered by Frank Rosenblatt, the man often called the father of deep learning. Minsky's book on perceptrons displayed mathematical proofs showing the limitations of training multi-layer neural networks. As a result, Research on neural nets was discouraged in the 1970s and contributed to what's often called the AI winter. This book has generated lots of controversy in the AI community because the major discourager in a now popular field of neural networks was a pioneer in AI himself. Anyway, perhaps the most noteworthy work of Marvin Minsky is his book called The Society of Mind. In this piece, Minsky argues that what we call consciousness 
is not a distinct element or object. Rather, it is a side effect from a large number of sensory inputs and processing abilities. For example, you have a small device that detects touch, another device for visual input, another for auditory input, and so on. The combined effect of processing all these inputs is what you, the viewer, interprets as sentience, or in colloquial terms, awareness. What does this mean? It means that, in a sense, machines today are already sentient. Your phone, for an example, is aware of your touch, the biometrics of your face, the weather, its coordinate position on a map, it knows where true north is, etc. As machines become aware of even more dimensions of reality, it will at some point reach the level of human sentience. Therefore, rather than view AI as a sudden shift where machines become self-aware, see it as a continuum that all machines are walking towards. Anyway, I am just scratching the surface of Minsky's work. Those of you interested in learning more should get the book on the subject. Link is in the description. Speaking of computers, one place you can check out is the MIT Museum in Boston. This museum puts on display the large number of inventions MIT has contributed to the field of artificial intelligence and robotics. The museum is free for students, but adults have to pay a fee of $18. If you are into science history, however, that price is totally worth it. Those of you who want to visit the MIT Museum should save this location on a Cityscape app. Marvin Minsky has become a legend in the AI community. His name is referenced in popular books and films such as 2001 A Space Odyssey. In 1969, Minsky was given a Turing Award, the highest honor in the field of computer science. As a professor at MIT, he has also influenced countless minds such as Ray Kurzweil, the pioneer behind the Singularity Movement. Marvin Minsky died in 2016 of a cerebral hemorrhage. He was 88 years old. This video is in memory of him, the godfather of AI. As artificial intelligence proliferates all around us, people will increasingly take it for granted. But not you, hopefully. If you ever find yourself in a driverless car, don't think of Elon Musk, but Marvin Minsky. See you next time.